in DevStream 98, they went more in depth into the Plains of Eidolon. They didn't give a date of when this is coming, but they did say because they're not doing any updates. Just hot fixes, but only emergency ones. They're not working on any hot fixes. It's all steam ahead on the Plains of Eidolon update, so the hoping soon, but not this week. Possibly not next week, there will of course be the update page beforehand. They started the reveal of this Plains of Eidolon stuff in Cedus. That's the town that you will first go to for the Plains of Eidolon. And it, this place looked pretty nice. There's a lot of things to do in here and a lot of places to go in here. They did of course confirm that it will still work for new players as well as veteran players. The night time is more for the veteran players and will be a bit hard. The day time is basically for anybody. And the further you go out away from the town, because it's nine square miles or something, they said it was. It was it's huge. There was lots of people within the town. They did show the prospector, which looks like it's going to be some kind of mining thing at least from first anyway that Iaton sculpture has me intrigued though because I've never seen that one before unless they've added it and I haven't noticed which I think I would have noticed that by now this guy is basically from the looks of it he's going to give you a tool and then you can go outside and dig around you could actually it's like a mini game for farming resources you actually go mining and you've got to draw this pattern using a mining laser and it's just a new fun way of getting resources how this works with the prospector maybe if you take a certain amount of resources to him he'll trade it for something else we'll obviously find that out when it comes out but the way they were talking about it at first I thought the prospector was going to be something like the excavation 2.0 missions just excavator style missions but reworked it's not that mining laser actually looks pretty fun they did mention that there will be hidden caves that they haven't really worked on they did show one but the lighting hasn't been done and they're very quickly moved on the grenier camps basically anything you find new location wise will be marked on your map i kind of wish they demonstrated what it's going to look like on your map our cave's going to have one feature, Grenier camps have a different icon even, not feature. Will there be different icons for different things, uh, fishing locations and such? You can actually find out where a lot of this stuff is from the people in the town, from what they were saying. You can talk to the people in Cedus and they will basically show you or tell you where things like caves, Grenier camps, them kind of things are going to be. There was also one point where a flare went off and they explained that there will be drones that fire flares and the different colours will show the level of reinforcements that are going to come and reinforcements will come. And, oh, there's... I wanted to say alerts, but they did say that these things aren't actually alerts. They're just going to be activities, if you want to call it that, on the plane of Eidolon that... Well, the one that showed you take the uh, a point and then they try and take it back from you. And the way the enemy spawned during this, they did say it's set up for four people. So like defense missions, if you do it in solo, you get less enemies per wave. But if you do it with four people, you will obviously get the max amount of number of enemies that can come in on one wave, which of course means more affinity. If this was the, just to come out like this, I know it might be a little bit hard because there is a lot of enemies, but that could be a lot of fun because that was overkill enemy-wise. And it was the first time during this I actually thought, ooh, that actually looks really amazing. Right up until the point they said it's been optimised for four players. And she was, Rebecca was in by herself, so it was just the one and you had the enemies coming in for four. And I th just thought... I want to play this with a team of four because the way the spawned and the drop in was just so nice. They kind of came in from everywhere at once and it did look really nice. And it'll add a whole new aspect to the combat system because 
there isn't really anything to hide behind. So this is where support frames, defensive frames, attacking frames, making your team around being attacked from all sides and having pretty much no cover is it really did look nice and got me really intrigued in this update a lot, lot more. They did go into the fact that Arcwing is going to be reworked for this. Kind of, Sharkwing was Arcwing but slower. That desperately needs to be reworked. Arcwing got reworked. This also got reworked. And it was only flown around for a short amount of time, but it looks like it's going to work a lot better, which will make a lot of people happy to see. If it worked the way it did before, flying around in the Plains of Idol and Upside Down, would have just looked wrong. So really glad to hear they've reworked that. Then they very quickly moved on to what I was really looking forward to seeing. On a night time, there was a glowing mark off in the distance. A lot of people who have been following the Plains of Eidolons would have known exactly what this was. This, of course, was an Eidolon spawning in because they will only spawn at night and they did confirm that to take it down you will need your operator to become a warrior operator which is why it's kind of veteran orientated at least at first. New players will of course be able to do this once they've got to a certain point but you could still class them as new players even though they have progressed to the point but they are not quite veteran yet if you know what I mean. Without trying to insult anybody, once you've done the War Within quest, you can upgrade your operator to a warrior, and then you will be able to come out on a night time and take on an Eidolon, is what I'm basically trying to get to. So of course there was no damage to it, but they did explain why it's got weird looking arms, because they've been destroyed in the old war and now they're wandering around trying to repair themselves, and wow, the things looked really impressive. The combat system that they were actually doing, not against them, looked really impressive. It waves its arm, it summons rain from the sky that deals lots of AOE attack damage. and It just generally looked like this guy is going to be a lot of fun to actually try and take down. Was glad that they did confirm what was said at PAX, whatever the last PAX was, that you will have to upgrade your operator to warrior status then you'll be able to go and you need to do that to put this guy into damage phase then you can swap to your frame and actually damage the Eidolon itself. So it's not a mini boss battle but it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to take this guy out. It looks like he's going to do more damage to you than you're going to be able to do to him which I'm kind of glad to see because if it was the other way around and you could take them out pretty quickly, it wouldn't be any fun. It needs to be just maybe a little bit hard to do this. Sadly though, with that, the focus system is being completely reworked. As it exists at the minute, is going to go away. They have said that any rep earned will be refunded so you can remap so assuming it's going to be a tree they didn't really say all that they said was thing the most commonly used things like Naramon's shadow step where you can go invisible that will not be in there we will obviously find out more on this when more information becomes available depending on when this update actually comes out there may be another dev stream before it lands so we may find out more then for now, it's just sad to see it's all going to go, but they did show the room for the guy you have to go and see to turn your operator into the warrior operator. And this guy had basically all the operator armor and other stuff on sale in kind of like the rest of uh, Cedus. It's like a market stall and it was pretty nice seeing stuff just laying around on display rather than seeing it already on. You can see what it looks like from all different angles, which was kind of nice to see. But the one thing I was really glad to see because I hadn't thought of it until I saw this was when they showed you using a sniper rifle. 
they were actually using a sniper rifle, but it means you will be able to. And it was about this point I remembered, ah yes, sniper rifles are actually a thing in this game. They don't get used because it's more of a close range thing. But I'm really looking forward to equipping a sniper rifle, finding a decent spot to, I don't want to say a camp, but to be able to look around at great distance and see just how effective sniper, rif sniper rifles could be in Warframe given the range to be able to actually use them because on ships on basically every tile set they're not really that big nine square miles of open terrain yes that is going to be really interesting to see how well these work but anyway we'll leave this off here for now there was other stuff in the dev stream i may cover that a little bit later but for now, just want to concentrate more on the Planes of Eidolon information. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.